Okay, good morning everyone. So, wala po tayong uh, synchronous class today pero magkakandak po ako ng lesson, recorded lesson dahil nga po uh, hindi po natuloy ang klase natin yesterday. So, to begin with, we will start our lesson with the subsets of real numbers of the module number 7. So, again, we will be learning today the subsets of real numbers. So, what are the subsets of real numbers? So, in this case, we will be defining and answering and I'm um, trying to get the following. We are going to describe and illustrate the real number system. How to classify the number by naming set or sets to which it, it or they belong or belongs using a Venn diagram. And we are going to arrange the set of real numbers in increasing or decreasing order and plot the set of real numbers on a number line. So there are four objectives or task learning tasks that we will be doing this morning. So to begin with, let's have first the games and the game that we will be doing. So this is a crossword puzzle using word wall. I click, uh, click the link uh, that I'll be sending to you on the chat box later and start the game and look for the eight words that may relate to our lesson this day. Then do not forget to screenshot kapag nakita nyo na yung eight words on the um, activity. Screenshot po ang eight words. So that's it. So let's start. For the lesson number one, we will be illustrating the different subsets of real numbers. And these are the subsets of real numbers. The first one is what you call the counting number. One of the subsets of real numbers is the set of counting or natural numbers. This subset consists of all positive integers that we use to count starting with 1. So from the word counting, hindi naman tayo nagsta-start sa 0 kapag nagka-count tayo, di ba? So we always begin with 1. So in other words, ang counting... Ang counting numbers are those numbers that started with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these are exact numbers. Ano po yung mga exact numbers? These are numbers na walang, uh, walang decimal point. For example, 1.1, it's not an exact number. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ko. Okay? Example. So, we have the set of counting numbers or natural numbers. Allow me to use the symbol N for natural numbers. These are the set of counting numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4. So, hindi po natin pwede isulat lahat yung counting numbers kasi in, an infinite po ito siya. Wala po itong katapusan. So, therefore, we are going to use and um, the three ellipses meaning and so on. So, marami pa po yan siya. That is now a counting number. Okay, let's proceed now to the next one. The next one is a whole number. This subset is exactly like the subset of counting numbers that includes 0. The subset would look like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, ang whole number naman po, it has this symbol. So, we have, it started with 0. At meron siyang natural number. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, yan po yung whole numbers. Okay, next. Uh, by the way, do not forget to copy what I'm Trying to present because it will be part of your portfolio in number 7. Okay, integers. This subset includes whole number, not a fractional number, that can be positive, negative, or zero. The subset would look like this. Um, this, are, this includes the negative and the positive number and the zero. So, integers. Para siyang Z or 7 na binaliktad. So, negative number. So, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Tapos positive number 1, 2, 3, and so on. And do not forget the ellipsis para uh, ma-describe ma yung ating set. Again, uh, when you say integers, may positive, may negative, at saka may 0 or neutral number. Next, the next one is the rational number. The subsets includes all the numbers that come to an end or numbers that repeat and have a pattern. Examples of the rational numbers are 5.34. Come to an, to an end. Nagtapos siya sa, sa 4. 5.34. Yan po yung ibig sabihin. 6 over 7. Meron siyang pattern. Or fraction siya. 6 over 7. Tapos meron siyang pattern. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. May pattern siya. And exactly number 9. 9 is a rational number because it has an invisible 1. Example. Example ng rational number Q... That is Q positive for the rational number. Example, allow me to use uh, EG. Meaning ang EG, example, example gratia. Ibig sabihin ng example gratia, uh, example, parang ganun po. So, 
we have 9. 9 is a fraction. Bakit? Meras meron siyang invisible 1. At the same time, uh, pwede rin 0 0.111111. Naka-experience na ba kayo nito nakahanap ng decimal number na puro repeated? Repeating siya? So therefore, ira uh, rational number siya. Yan po yung mga examples. Okay, next. The set of the irrational numbers. Irrational numbers naman po ang tawag kapag um, kapag yung numbers um, cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. It has decimal that goes on forever without any repeating pattern. So, example po ng irrational numbers. So, allow me to write here, irrational number. Irrason irrational number such as pi. Pi is an irrational number because it does not repeat and it never ends forever. Another thing is Euler's number. Euler's, not Euler, but Euler's number. And square root of 2. Wala pong magre-repeat dyan na number. So, paano po natin malaman kung nagre-repeat siya or hindi? So, basically, um, masyado siyang mahaba yung, yung calculation kapag gamitin ang calculator. And, madali lang po siya ma-identify like square root of 2, Euler, pi, kasi po, lagi na yan siyang ginagamit. And it is usually presented in person. Okay, next. So, ito naman po yung subsets of real numbers natin. Take note, yung counting number natin or the natural number, yan po yung pinaka, uh, pinaka subset. Tapos, since merong included ang zero sa counting number, nagkaroon tayo ng whole number na tinatawag. At yung whole number, which consists of zero and positive number, pag dinagdagan mo siya ng negative, magiging integer na siya. And lahat ng integer, ng whole number, ng counting number, are example of rational numbers. And rational numbers is separated, magkaiba yan sila kay irrational. Kaya si irrational, nasa hiwalay na circle. Yun po yung ibig sabihin yan. Okay? So, I would like you to answer this one for our activity. So, we have here negative 3. So, tingnan natin, si negative 3. Is it a whole number? Whole number ba siya? Negative. May negative bang whole number? Wala po. So, x ang ilalagay natin. Sa integer naman po, allow me to use the symbol for whole number. Si integer. Next, si rational. Q positive, si rational, si negative. Next, integer ba siya? Si integer consists of positive, negative, and zero. So, therefore, integer siya kasi negative man si negative 3. Irrational. A rational number. Rational number, merong invisible one or fraction siya. And repeating ang kanyang kung, kung decimal siya. So in this case, may inon invisible one siya. So therefore, check din siya. Irrational ba siya? No, hindi po. Hindi po siya pi, hindi po siya Euler's number, hindi po siya square root of 2. So therefore, x siya dito. Okay, next. Another example is 0. Si 0 ba part ng whole number? Yes, of course. 0 is the first number in whole number. So check siya. Integer ba siya? Yes, of course. Siya yung tinatawag na neutral number. Irrational ba siya? Rational ba siya? Mm -hmm. Take note of that. I would like you to answer this one. Kung rational siya, irrational. And continue with 4 over 7, square root of 64, 13, 0 0.125, or negative 0 0.125, the square root of 2, Euler's, and 0 0.50. Okay? I'll be giving you 20 minutes to do this one and submit your um, portfolio for this lesson. Ay, not yet pa pala. Hindi pa pala portfolio. And huwag nyo muna isubmit because we will be checking that one on Friday. So, goodbye everyone. Thank you and God bless.